Hello, player two. Welcome to the Thunderdome, bitch. Your turn. I don't know which which two, but I just read player one. Apparently, player one has like something going on underneath the surface. So we're gonna see what your side says. How's everyone doing today? As I uh, told player one in the first video, I'm gonna try to make this into a reward for whichever zodiac likes my stuff more. This will just be like more of a direct. Um, I think I'm going to make this more into a direct um, thing, and what I've decided is, like, I'm not going to say who's who with the players, right? I'm not going to say player one is, like, Virgo, and player two is this one. I'm not going to do that, because, like, I'd rather, like, see what everybody has to say first, right? It's much easier if I just upload the videos, and then, like, if you all decide from the situation, you can just tell me what you think of it, because I could be wrong in the entire scenario. I just started this, settle your nettle, player two, because uh, there's a secret, and I'm wondering if you're the one with the secret, but I don't know. I won't know until I read your things, but I'm hoping, like, I'll, I'll, we'll get an answer, and, like, I'm hoping y'all who are observing this will enjoy this little speculation, like, and like I said in the other video, with player one, um, I kind of did this with a random relation reading before, earlier in the month, and it was just kind of like, ah. But it's just kind of like, yeah, I want to make a game. I like doing this for people. This is actually a lot more fun than what I thought it'd be. I don't think I'll get anywhere with it. You know. <laughs> so... <laughs> But, like, yeah, whoever I think has the, um, most, I guess, likes or view, well, I'll do most views. Because views are easier to see from my phone than likes, honestly. And player two, the cards are really trying to tell me something about y'all, so. I'm wondering. Come here. This is sandalwood scented. I like sandalwood. Then it was actually used in, um, Left Hand Path for, um, kind of revenge things. Revenge kind of stuff, or, um, hexes, curses, and stuff like that. I don't like saying it. I like saying it's for truth. Like, at least that's what I use it for. I use it for more anything. I also use Dragon Bloods for that. But there's something... That, well, no, I'm thinking of Opium. Opium's the one that I use for, like, hexes and shit. Not that I do them, but, you know, just to get some information, really. But opium I like to use for truth, because, you know, opium can also be like a drug. And most people who do drugs are pretty freaking honest when they're on their drugs. So that was the way I kind of saw it. Like, you know, stuff like that, right? Just seep right into there. Smother them tears. Okay. Ugh, oh, it's so fucking perfumed. I love the smell of my cards when I do this shit, right? The smell like actually kind of fucks me up a little bit, but it's not too terribly bad. Other than that, you know? But, um, yes, player two. We are going to do you now in relation to player one. And we're going to figure out what your position in all this scenario is, right? Um... Because I'm very much wondering who you are in this. Are you the one keeping the secret, or are you actually the one who's about to find out about it? I don't know. Um, depends on what your side of the story says. Boop, 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 boop. No whammies. Okay. Ready, player two. Fight! We got the star. Something stolen? The Eight of Swords, Six of Pentacles in your fear. Upright. Oh. The King of Swords. That's what's going on around you. Are you the one looking for truth right now? Because the King of Swords popped up in the other one like someone's looking for truth. We have what's going against you, the Ace of Swords. Upright. So obviously... Yeah, okay, I got you, man. Then the final result is the Queen of Pentacles. And... Ooh. Nine of Swords. Can you not sleep at night, player two? 
Mmm. 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 The drama, 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 huh? Okay, so. Sorry, I had to get something really quick. Like, my phone buzzed. Well, it was starting to buzz because my mother in law was calling. And I usually have her on silent. She wanted to know about a bed that I've already kind of. Well, my husband already told her about six times already. And it's been driving him nuts. He's just like, it's just like when she's drinking, like she just. But you know, that's beside the point. Anyway, player two, you are um, feeling imprisoned in your own mind. There is the star, which is how you feel about yourself. You know, um, did you steal something, thinking that you could replace it and no one would notice? Because I kind of got that vibe, especially with the two bottom cards, because you got someone looking for the truth going on around you, and what's going against you is the truth. So, uh, what the fuck, dude? Like, what the dilly you? What the filly you? Fun fact, did you know that there is actually a, a, a heavy metal band that all dresses up like Ned Flanders from The Simpsons? I can't remember what their name is, but, oh my god, was it such an inviting, like, it fair, I thought it. Huh, that's kind of groovy. So, beside that, oh, shit. Oh, one just flew away from the rest of them. That was kind of weird. What are you? Not putting the work in, are you? Like, makes sense. Uh, all right, player one. Play, not player one, player two. Uh, we got the what you want, the eight of swords, which is like, um,. Bad news, bad vibes, like kind of being surrounded by a bunch of sores while you're hogtied, hoodwinked, and all sorts of stuff. Like, I don't know if that's what you want. I think you want to be offered something new while hiding things in order to get what you want. I, I, I kind of feel like that a little bit. And what your fear is, uh, the Six Pentacles, which is like generosity, giving to someone who's in need? What the fuck does that mean? Like, why, why would you be afraid of giving to someone who needs something? Hmm. Does that have something to do with that stuff that's hitting on the sun? This was the chariot upright. Do you feel like if you don't give somebody what they want, you'll be a victor? Like, you'll go into this fight winning? Like, you, like if you think you don't give somebody what they want, because coming up pretty defensive. Not too defensive, but defensive. Uh... What's going on around you? The King of Swords. Someone's looking for the truth. And that's all there is to it. And the King of Swords, he is upright. He is not about to um, go without figuring out what the hell is going on. Like, he wants to know. What's going against you is the truth. And someone's holding on to it pretty tight. Someone's hanging on to that. Then we have the... Queen of Pentacles as the final result, which is a woman who has a lot of influence. She's fair. She um, is very capable of her material possessions and her strengths. She's very diligent. She's good at what she does. She could be an earth sign. Doesn't even need to be a woman, really. But she could be an earth sign. Um, you know? Um, so there's that with her. So that's the final result with that one. So we got the star, which is possibly someone thinking they can replace something without anybody knowing. What's going against that is the truth, and what they fear is giving to someone who needs something, right? We got the king of swords looking for the truth, while what you want is, like, something hoodwinked or someone hoodwinked and... Bound and incapable of getting out of a situation? 
I feel. And the end result is the Queen of Pentacles, is, who is a woman who is, um... She's pretty groovy. And I wonder, like, um... Uh, is that the person you're trying to hoodwink right now? Player or two? Because there's not much action going on. This is obviously bothering you because you got the Nine of Swords in your beginning theme. What is above you? No whammies. Okay. Round two. Fight! We have the Emperor reversed weakness. Um... Either too much control, or you're out of control, or you don't just have enough control of the situation. We have the Hermit. Reversed. You want isolation? Someone to be hoodwinked and to be isolated? We have the um, six, or seven of Pentacles. We already got six, which is like looking over what you've created, you know, reaping what you've sowed, right? Looking over what you've done. The judgment reversed with what's going on around you when it comes to this king of swords. The chariot. What's going on against you? With the truth, the ace of swords. We have the seven of wands with the queen of pentacles and then the ending theme is the ace of cups a new beginning a new emotional beginning and i believe player one had that too player one was dealing with um wanting the truth about the past All right, player two. We got the star where someone thinks that they could take something away or thief it away and replace it with the emperor who isn't entirely in control. There's weakness, too much benevolence. Um, either a hypocrite on his uh, podium or just somebody who doesn't have control of the situation. No control. They could also be an Aries too. The star could be an Aquarius as well, but I don't think that's the situation. Um... We have the Eight of Swords with the Hermit. Reverse, which is like someone is hoodwinked and they feel isolated and they don't want to take what it is that's being offered. They don't want it. Or maybe you don't want it. Because this is something that you want, but, like, that pinnacle dude, he just popped up. He, um, obviously isn't offering anything of value. He isn't offering anything of value to the person. Um. Ooh. Because, um. This is going on right now. Whatever is being offered, like, there's a disruption here. And this came up upright in player one, so. I think they just fig I think they might just figure out that like something is a lie. Uh what's going against you? Being somebody who gives generously and looking over the work that you created, reaping what you sowed. Did you give something away to somebody in need and now you're looking over like fuck, what the fuck did I do? Like I feel like player two, like you're kinda regretting a little bit of what you've done. You gave something away, and now you're looking over and like, fuck. This steals more with material, like, efforts. You're too generous with somebody, or like, were you generous for a specific reason? Because it's weird that you want someone hoodwinked and isolated. But then, like, with the Emperor Reverse, like, it's kind of like... I'm wondering about you, player two. With, um, this King of Swords who is looking for truth, we got Judgment Reverse. Bad Judgment. He's looking for the truth, and he's got bad judgment on it. 
Um, whoever is playing this King of Swords, they're looking for the truth because their judgment's already like, uh, what the fuck's, what the, what the dealio, man? The fuck is going on? You know, like, just, he wants to know because he doesn't have a very clear understanding of the situation. That's what's going on around you. What's going against you is this Ace of Swords, the truth, and someone's going to be victorious. This could easily be a Cancer card, the Cancer. Um, but whoever, but someone's about to get a victory, and I, and I actually pulled that card. I was getting the final three cards of advice for player one. So there's that, and like that's clarification. Someone was victorious somewhere with when it came to a battle or a fight or something, and. They now want they the truth is out somewhere. I'm 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 feeling like the truth is out. Like with uh the final card, the Queen of Pentacles, upright, there is the Seven of Wands. Somebody is on top of their game. Like look at like above you you feel imprisoned and below you there's a new beginning. Something maybe possibly romantic? Did you, did somebody in the scenario between player one and player two, did one of you decide to um, start something? Or remove... It's really hard for me to read the cards today, and I don't know why. Maybe just today's not my day? Possibly? Probably. Because I went rambling this morning on Instagram and shit. Um, I feel like between you and player one, somebody went out of their way to try to replace something. Either they were trying to replace this emperor, or which and and you know the emperor and the star are supposed to represent a. How you feel about yourself, right? Do you feel like you stole something and tried to replace it and now you feel like everything's out of control? And now that the truth is out, there's going to be somebody getting in a fight and winning about it. And now you're just afraid of looking like you possibly gave too much away and now all you can do is like look back at what you've grown. And then like there's the king with the judge with the bad judgment. Going across to, um, they came with a bad judgment. Is this person looking for truth because you, because possibly you left them hoodwinked and isolated? Or did they do that to you? Was, did you do this to player one or did player one do this to you? Because I feel like someone was really stringing somebody along now. And that leads down to this um, Queen of Pentacles who's on top of her game. She's got the Seven of Wands. She's fighting it off. She's winning. She is the winner. I really think she is winning. Like, I think that, like, she's the one who is able to, um, stave off this, um, position of being hoodwinked and isolated. And she's able to come on top from it. Like, I don't know if you're looking to this person for advice and help, but um I think I think that's what's happening. I think player two, somebody is, knows that they've been given bad judgment and now they want the truth because they've been hoodwinked and isolated. And maybe this Queen of Pentacles is going to help them fight it off because they got the advantage. They got the high ground. Alright, what kind of advice can we give to player two? Oh, now you don't want to come out of my hands. Okay, you've been following this entire time. Mind you, I'll do this with every uh, monthly reading. Whoever gets the most views, not just likes views, because that's who's going to be ahead of um, because I don't think likes are fair. Not everybody likes what they're getting, you know. Gotta be fair, but views are the ones who are gonna get this. Won't say who is who, because, you know, I really don't know. I can only go through a scenario or whatever. You could totally, like, throw me a bone, man. 
Come on. Okay. Ooh. First one upright is what I call. We got someone sneaking around. Then I just, wasn't that the first card that popped up out of here? Someone's lying. And we'll go ahead and shuffle for this last one because I don't want to keep going. But like those two for sure, I feel like those are important. Someone's sneaking around. Someone's being a liar. Possibly a female. She's a fire sign. Maybe, a, maybe even an older woman. And someone is being emotionally manipulative. Ah, oh, you almost landed right there. So there you go. Player two. Um, in all those cases, someone's being sneaky. Someone's being a liar. And someone is emotionally manipulating the situation. Like... Someone's sneaking around, they think they can steal something and replace it. The Emperor is not in control. Um, the King of Swords is looking for truth in this bad judgment. Somebody's been lying and keeping someone hoodwinked and isolated until the truth comes out. And like, all of a sudden someone's coming out to kick some ass and win a win. Uh, someone was afraid of being too generous and looking over what they've done with this emotionally manipulative person. And now the Queen of Pentacles is coming in and she's going to like... Fight the fight, maybe, for you. Maybe she's your advisor. But that's what I got for you, player two. So y'all let me know how you feel about it. See you guys later.